Carve Colab are an artistic collective co-creating with the Parkinson's community. In 2019, we devised a new operatic work for performers living with Parkinson's called Her Story. In 2020, the COVID-19 pandemic paused our efforts to produce the opera for the stage. It also had a devastating effect on the lives of the Parkinson's community. I felt very isolated. We usually have many activities which were really cut out. It made me very uh, withdrawn, actually, which has not liked me so much. I also found it demotivating, you know, I, I try to spend my time writing, but I found it really difficult to find the motivation. We decided to redirect our efforts towards some digital projects, starting with a short film artwork entitled Her Story, The Covid Chronicles. Looking at the imprint of my footsteps behind me. Building sandcastles just out of reach. Then, inspired by the words of one of the songs in the opera, we began a third project, Her Story, Every Stitch in the Quilt. The idea behind this project was to run a series of online workshops and set art challenges based around themes from the opera. Project participants from all over the UK contributed a range of artworks from photography and textiles to short stories and poetry. In Zoom workshops, we danced, sang, and developed characters inspired by scenes from the opera. We created a digital quilt, an online exhibition bringing together the creative and artistic talents of all our project participants. It's, it's nice to have a, a visible thing, um, like a quilt, and everyone's up mm. here. But I, I think it, it's, I still think it's quite exciting. This was actually inviting you to think about something and to, uh, yes, to get involved, exactly. And I think that's, that's made a huge difference. Well, I think that for me, I wrote a little poem and I would not have written it if it hadn't been commissioned by this group, as it were. And I saw all these amazing things that people were doing. And I've, never, I've always been a critical person, but never a, a maker myself. So this was an opportunity to change that. Mm -hmm. And it, it's been fantastic. It gave me a lot of satisfaction to find out I could contribute something to it because I was um, able to. Something of mine that came out of me was acceptable to be and was encouraged and grown on. So that was lovely, really lovely. And the creative aspect of combining art forms and being inspired by some of the things you've written or said or done is just... Um, Restorative, I think you said, Hilary. That's right. And so much more. And um, the, the whole singing thing has been a complete liberation for me. As somebody who was shamed by a singing teacher when I was about 12, you know, the whole process of being able to sing and learn songs while on mute is just an amazing liberation. <laughs> really, really good. You know, the, the feedback I've had from some of my writing has been so positive and so encouraging even with the Parkinson's limiting us in so many ways, you can still flower and be a beautiful bloom. And we are always in the danger of being defined by this condition, which is Parkinson's. And mm. people don't see beyond that. And all mm. of us, as is revealed in these sort of activities, have, we were, we were people before. We had mm. talents, gifts, and, and, and it's important to reveal the real person behind behind the condition. <laughs>